Okay, here's a quick lesson in Pro Tools on how to use an auxiliary track. So we're going to use this mix that we had before, Overkill. If you don't have it, add these three tracks, Overkill. We don't need this last track, just ignore that. That's me singing on there, I'll mute that. And then, we're going to open the, the mix window instead of the tracking window. So window mix. You get the mix window here. Looks like a mixer. So we have insert sends, the input output, automation, and then the track faders. So in this track we're going to add an auxiliary track. I already did, but to do that track new, make it an auxiliary input. I'll just add another one. So I'll have Second one here, aux two. Got aux one and two now. There we go. Then what you want to do, it's it's like if you can imagine having a basically a wire or a cord attach sound from one thing to another, like a, attaching your guitar to an amplifier, you're gonna attach a track to this auxiliary. The way to do that is to have two things that match. So we're gonna you're going to add a send, which is going to be bus 1. So when you go into bus, hit bus 1 mono. I already did that. And it's going to be attached to auxiliary 1. So the input, you're going to add bus 1. So when those two match, the, this, the signal will go from here and go straight over to here. So straight to the send section and then into the input section of the auxiliary. Now on the auxiliary channel, you can add different effects. I added a reverb, and you can make it dry or wet. The more wet it is, the more reverb you get. I'll play a little bit of that. I can get to sleep. I think about the implications of diving in too deep. Now also, once you do a bus, if you click it, you'll get the fader for that bus, if in the bus, the it off. So you're gonna have to turn it up above zero to hear that reverb coming back on those tracks. So if I solo this track in my auxiliary, I'll show you what that sounds like. There's the reverb. When I turn the bus off, you can see the reverb doesn't go through the bus anymore. So that's a quick lesson on auxiliary track. So add a track, change the send to a matching bus. It's the same name as the auxiliary. Put on all the inserts that you want. It'll send it all to here. So the way people use this, if you add, for example, a choir and you have 100 vocals and you want them all to go to one reverb, you can do it basically sending them all to one auxiliary and have a reverb instead of doing it on every channel.